First of all, my name is Morig. Um, I'm a primary school teacher working in South Dublin. And I, there you go. And, uh, I got involved in cycling suicide a couple of years ago on an on and off basis. And then about a year, year and a half ago, uh, I became a full, fully fledged volunteer. And I work completely with the school team, um, organizing events like this, running the school's program, and basically doing what uh, Alison tells me to do, wherever Alison is. Um, I came from a school in uh, Kilchmach and Timothy, they're here, they're there, they're there, they're there. And um, I, when I was in school, there wasn't cycling and suicide, there wasn't any sort of mental health uh, organizations or events, any that kind of stuff. And like, I, I'm only 10, 11 years out of school, so like, like we could have done with it. Um, I definitely think it would have helped, there was definitely bullying going on back then and it would have been amazing to have but actually through somebody else in St. Louis years later they were a student leader just like the student leaders are here today and she actually was the one that encouraged me to be involved so the student leaders play a huge role and I want to thank them again for their role. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the uh, porcupine map exercise that you're going to bring back to your school. It's the first thing that I would encourage you to do after you set up your Headstrong Committee. Um, my biggest fear right now is that I'm going to misspell something on that chart, and it's going to be on the video. So I do apologize, and I'm sorry. I, I know I'm a teacher, I should know how to spell, but sometimes I get it wrong. Um, so the porcupine map uh, will be done in two halves. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first half of it, and then I'm going to hand it over to Isabel, who will speak for a small while, and then I'll come back up and do the second half. All right. So, um, the first thing is that this uh, porcupine map will be projected onto the screen uh, on the inside. I hope you can read it. I'm going to try and write it in as thick a black marker as I can, and uh, hopefully it makes sense. So the porcupine map was designed. Um, it's designed to show the stigmas related to um, mental illnesses and. The porcupine map comes from the headstrong uh, evidence-based research that we have we are going to be using uh, going forward um, and I suppose the whole point of everything is stigma and resilience um, and this porcupine map as I said will it's it's an eye-opener for certain people as to um, how others might feel basically uh, and that's Best way I'm going to leave it, uh, I'm just going to start writing that to make, to make it more obvious. So, in the middle of the page, I'm going to write two big letters M and I. Is that readable on the screen? Yeah, okay. So, what do you think MI stands for? Mental illness. Mental illness. Um, mental illness, um, doesn't, there's no specific one. It can be anything. It can be suffering from anxiety or depression, you could have OCD. You could have, believe me, you, could, you don't know, uh, we, we don't need to know what the problem is. But we need to know that people, it's, it's okay not to feel okay, is our big thing. It's absolutely okay to ask for help. But the mental illnesses, um, sorry, I'm going to mix up here. The whole point of it is that we need to look at it from the other side of the, the other side of where we're coming from, basically. You are all here for the right reasons. You're all here to promote positive mental health in schools. You're here to try and 